Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rat here from Ratko Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2018. So <clears throat> while I'm shuffling the cards in case you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, my website will be written down below in the description of, uh, of this video uh, and in there you can find a list of my services and the, uh, the prices for them as well as uh, you need to know that right now is running the summer's end service uh, sale, excuse me, yeah, which adds 10 minutes to the 30 minute service on top of it. So that being said, guys, let's see what the moon has to offer to you. Now this is going to be a seven card spread. The first card here will show us past circumstances and conditions which will impact your month. Uh, next card represent the mod itself or this is going to be you know the topic <clears throat> the theme of the month third card shows up the future outlook or what you can go for uh, in addition uh, in this uh, in the month of September so should you choose to go for it should you not that is entirely your choice then we do have the fourth card representing the best possible uh, approach toward the topic toward the situation here fifth card is about what the people how the people will take that or this is the attitude of the people which are involved into your situations sixth card will be about the challenges that you have to take on the predicaments and etc etc and the last one it's about the final outcome so how you're gonna wrap this one up or in other words toward what end Oh, this is happening so let's see what you do have here now I will turn on these uh, well that is a, a very nice condition and I will turn on these both cards uh, because they're kind of ready in um, you know cumulatively in the spread so uh, obviously as you can see ace of cups marks the past condition which imp um, which kind of like you know impact your mind and the Ace of Cups is a card of the very pure happiness, the most uh, pure energy of happiness. Doesn't necessarily, it is not necessarily linked to love, you know. Um, generally, it expresses the love for life. So the card could represent uh, something good which happened recently to you Virgos and now as you can see with the Sun card you will have the time to enjoy it for the duration of the month as a matter of fact I think that this is a quite of a happy circumstances because the whole month will be defined by them <clears throat> And uh, uh, as a matter of fact, the month itself is going to run very pleasantly at your behalf. Ace of Cups, it's, uh, it could represent that particular uh, event happening in your life, which makes uh, your problems you had thus far quite irrelevant because the Ace of Cups gives you something to look forward to. And this, what you are looking forward to, uh, will be attended to in the in the month of uh, of September now the Sun card as we have it on the topic of the month it could speak for multiple things now the Sun card the most important quality of the Sun card is uh, the quality of peace so whatever arguments you do have with people whatever uh, disagreements you know whatever obstacles um, you have with situations and especially if you are not able to let go of certain painful and poignant situations you can expect that this is what is going to happen uh, in the month of September the Sun card as well points that in the month of September everything will go naturally which means that you may not expect you should not expect or rather not nothing out of the ordinary as a predicament is going to happen in your life for the duration of September. As a matter of fact, this card um, promises you improvement, especially relationship wise. And not only your intimate relationship should you have any, but as well friendships um, with a person of interest either because <clears throat> 
the sun card points that this month is going to be about the drops of happiness which are going to be uh, spilled in every single field of your life uh, contributing for the happiness of all so not just only you're going to be happy but as well the people which are involved into your situation so I expect that here we are going to have a card marking that but we are going to go there in a minute also the sun card points that you will be uh, feeling yourself quite vital to attend to um you know to the undertakings which are which are awaiting you and for those who are chasing money this card promises as well monetary success but <clears throat> Just to wrap this one up with these couple of cards, it does look like Virgos that this is going to be hell of a positive month for you. <clears throat> so let's see what else you can go for here. That will be the Ten of Swords. Very positive as a follow-up to the Sun card uh, and this could be said uh, through the elemental dignities as well. Now this, the Ten of Swords strengthen the Sun card so the more you do from the Ten of Swords the, uh, the stronger the effect of the Sun is going to be upon you. So what possibly could be Ten of Swords is in a positive way. Well, uh, in a positive way, Ten of Swords is about, you know, cutting clean with the past, making those um, decisions that you would rather postpone so you don't hurt a peripheral influences. So just to give you an example here, Virgos, that could be uh, a friend of yours, for example, which hurt you in a certain way and you are searching for a way to forgive them, you know, but you can't find the strength or the reason within you to make that forgiveness and yet you don't want to banish them away because this is going to hurt their feelings. Well, the Ten of Swords here represents exactly that, you know, the determination to start going upwards on the precipitous slope that you have recently fell and when you were when you were in the rock bottom, that happy circumstances hap uh, happened there and actually gave you something to fight for and it gave you something to look forward to. And now the Ten of Swords here demands the tough decisions and the irreversible actions that you have to make in order to uh, stray yourself toward that positive direction. So the Ten of Swords here points toward the uh, unyielding standpoint that you need to obtain um, and exclude everything which is going to divert you from the direction to receive peace and to receive happiness in either your career, in either your relationship, you know. Uh, but this as well, the Sun card I missed to um, mention here, but the Sun card could also show a... Um, <clears throat> a very amusing uh, undertakings especially career wise some projects which are really make you feel very productive and it will make you feel as well that you worth more than you uh, than you anticipate or rather like that you think people around you are assessing you to worth so it's kind of like as well an opportunity to uh, show yourself in the best positive light possible but that will be uh, even greater you know if you show determination and if you show uh, as well unyielding standpoint that you are determined you know to climb the rock bottom and to restore your positions back again and it's not going to be even the restoration is going to be an upgrade so you will upgrade your positions in the duration of the month as long as you kind of breed confidence with your actions and with your decisions as well I don't know if you kind of um, have a grasp upon what, what I'm talking about but these cards here point that you can force a, a very positive new era in your life but it will require some balls so I hope that you do have them uh, then the next one it is the best possible approach toward the Sun card here we do have the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Wands Virgo for you asks you first you know to recognize the rules of the game because even though this game is going to be a very favorable for you there are rules that needs to be acknowledged so uh, as much as faster as you um, 
introduce yourself to or introduce those rules to yourself and get to know them and start playing by the rules of the game the uh, the better i mean the the results will follow soon after the more faster the results will follow ten of wands as well speaks for that you have to acknowledge the um the boundaries that the situation place upon um, upon you and upon your life you know and start moving according to those boundaries and lastly the ten of wands asks you to um, chase power I hope that that makes sense to you, especially career-wise. This card really asks you to establish a, uh, a as much dominion as you can upon the people that work with you and for you, and as well upon the projects that you are dealing with. And that again will happen through the determination here and through the presence of a unyielding standpoint that the things are going to happen your way or they aren't going to happen uh, at all. You know. So, uh, the next card points how the people are going to take that. Now, uh, we have the Moon card, and as I said, I was expecting that we we're going to have a positive card here. And uh, the Sun, as a fiery, uh, as a fiery card, totally um, extinguish the negativity of the moon as a watery card. So what happens here is that even though people doesn't have a full grasp upon your ideas and a full grasp upon your confidence as well, they will trust you to guide them because this is a card as well of, guide, of guidance. So uh, that and trust which they, which they are going to place in you should be... Um, should be justified and that justification here happens again through the ten of wands by showing that you very well know what you do by acknowledging the rules of the game as I said you know and that you are leading those people toward let's say better days I cannot say really success because success is uh, is different for every single one of us and it, it is highly def def uh, defined by our expectations you know but these people will will entrust you that you are going to lead them toward a um, better days now it is not excluded some dramas that may come to your ear here with the moon car but um, how can I place it that drama uh, will be uh, forced or kind of like it will emerge from the imagination of these people. So uh, it is very important here to again allow the situation to unfold naturally and try to explain the uh, the reasons behind your actions as much as as much as you can. But looking at the moon card, it is unlikely that, that, that these people which are involved into your situation really will be able to grasp to grasp it all. And yet, the more uh, the more brief uh, briefed they are into uh, into what you're trying to do the the more ease they will have upon their nerves of course you don't you don't want your co-workers to be scraped uh, to be scraped in nerves and to be uh, kind of like reluctant regarding the um, the tasks that you are placing for them and as well to be rather with hectic, uh, with hectic wavering um, when they when they're expecting you to do something so it's it's all about building up that confidence here Virgo for the duration of the month now um, <clears throat> the moon card when it comes to uh, relationships uh, with friends and with uh, intimate relationships as well uh, it kind of points that um, your partner until this very moment or a friend of or, or your friends until this very moment may have some ambivalent expectations from you or opinions should I say but now in this month as, as the month goes further and as you have acknowledged now the rules of the game uh, that ambivalent um, ambivalent uh, ambivalent thoughts and um, expectations will be more narrowed so these um, so they will be rendered to a singular expectation and opinion and the fear of um, breaking up for example the fear of your partner that you're going to leave them um, and you're going to break up with them etc etc will be rather uh, reduced to almost negligible one 
So the predicaments that you have to face, however, in this month is the tree of um, it is the tree of wands, and this card here points that you should not try to control everything. As I said, the rules are what are controlling uh, the situations, uh, the situation, and you are not the rules here, Virgo. So. Um, as I said, you have to try to establish dominions as much as possible, but the dominions will not be establishing upon the uh, established upon the entire thing, and that could seriously aggravate you here. Now, the three of wands in your case uh, sits uh, as a um, a hundred percent. Um, how can I place it? Um, like establishing a 100% control and um, reaching to a 100% predictability of your actions, which cannot be, uh, which cannot be achieved. You got, uh, you know, guys, you can do the best you can and you can hope for the best, but what will happen? It does depend on air conditions, which does not depend on you, you know. So uh, yeah, this card points that you have to, um, you have to do the best you can. You know, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, and um, basically hope uh, hope for the best. And the best is yet to come as well, as I said, the sun card. Because what happens here is that the situation unfolds naturally, you know, but maybe you want to that the situation unfolds a little bit faster, and therefore you try even harder. Uh, and uh, when it doesn't happen again, when you try harder, you try to bend the rules a little bit so you can make it go faster. And as I said, the obedience on the rules, it's imperative for you to allow the situation to unfold as it is supposed to unfold, either regarding your relationship or either regarding your career. And a quick example here, for example, if... Um, your intimate partner doesn't like to be bothered um, in um, when they are at work, you know. And you have that crazy idea go camping, and you want to know the answer right now. So, what are the rules? Don't call your partner in relationship when they are at work, but you want things to be a little bit more faster. You need to know the answer now, and you call, and of course you bend the rules, and things will not go the way they are supposed to. So just so you know, in order to have the situation unfolding favorably and naturally in your way, you have to obey the rules. And by doing so, you will have the opportunity, you know, to establish dominions over the situation as well. And the last card points the end of it, which is the devil. I don't like the devil card. But in your case, in this particular case, it's rather very positive here. Because the devil card is all about having what we want, even if what we want is not very healthy for us, for the lack of better terms. Um, the devil card stands as the, uh, as the hunger that we do have deep down within ourselves, either the hunger to go camping, either the hunger to be in a, in a uh, higher position into your career, or the hunger to be with the person we want, etc., etc. Should we obey the rules? Uh, it does look like and allow the situation to unfold naturally here. It does look like that this hunger is going to be satisfied. Unfortunately, however, the devil doesn't say that this hunger is a, a substantial for our well-being. Some of you Virgos will realize they will have their hunger satisfied just so they realize that this was not the hunger needed to be satisfied. So uh, for some of you Virgos it will be kind of like um, through the sentence here that you will get what you want just so you can recognize that you don't need it. All right, but for some of you guys, it will be a real hit here. I mean, you can uh, you can hit the person you always wanted to be with. You know, you can attend to the project which you always wanted to be involved at. You can get the job that you always wanted to work at, etc., etc. And all that comes from the recently happened happy circumstances, which kind of have the potential to give you a new direction in life. All that you need to do is obey the rules and have patience to um, the situation to unfold naturally. And while you do so, you know, just enjoy your life. This is what the sun card points. And whatever happens here, guys, do not involve yourself into conflicts. Now, the sun card 
hates conflicts. It is just the conflicts it is what destroys the positivity coming from this card. So that being said, this was your monthly tarot reading for September 2018, Virgos. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.